make his appearance has been the subject of reports from the New York Post and network news in the states. Students tell CHCH that this is a constant topic in class. The entire school. Like, every single class that I'm in, the teacher is, like, the topic. Like, she, it's, yeah. I don't know, like, and obviously the teachers have no say over it. It's just, I'll be walking in the in the hallways and I'll see her walking around. It's just, it's kind of discomforting to be in a school environment with that. The Halton District School Board says they're not taking any action against the teacher, saying they want to create a safe learning environment and, quote, ensure a safe and inclusive environment for all students, staff, and the community, regardless of their race, age, ability, sex, gender identity, gender expression, sexual orientation, ethnicity, religion, cultural observance, social economic circumstances, or body type or size, adding that, quote, Gender identity and gender expression are protected grounds under the... Now, the weird part about this is that I'm pretty much school... I pretty much know that schools has a dress code that needs to be allowed. And they allowed this person to dress very inappropriately towards these kids wearing these... The skin tied up. I know... He, I mean, obviously, we can tell that he is transitioning from one person to another, but it is not. It shouldn't be a forming excuse for you to dress a certain type of way when it comes to educating the youths. Them, I feel for you, <laughs> yo. Like I feel for that school because it's like, you know, if you if that person was teaching back in my class back in those days, man, I don't even think. You know, they will even come come back to class ever since. I mean, because the thing is, is that this person, their top is so revealing to these students. And it, it, it's, it's just like, it's a big distraction from learning. And, and to be honest, I, you know, I can't really understand what's in that person's mind state because, like... Why do you want to dress in that certain type of way? People will make fun of you and stuff like that. And and I'm not too sure if she's trying to, he or she is trying to lure people. You, you know, it, you have to, you have to really, you have to really go down that route and actually think about it. You know, and I'm like, well, this person as well, he, he's like, he or she is like trying to cut a wood from a table saw. And I'm like, dude, you're... Like your your prosthetics is like very close to that. Now I know the guard is there. I'm not going to try to be <laughs> all obnoxious today, but like you're very close, and it look it seems very dangerous for you to actually, you know, put yourself in in in, in that kind of harm's way. Now, as far as the students, you gotta give a big old shout out to the students because they handle it like true of those that i mean i'm pretty sure they got somewhere to go in the future because they're very well spoken very well you can tell um the 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 school in canada teaches their their kids very well because they spoke very well or they just got some clout you know they're like yeah we're gonna be all the adults here and make this person look like the child and the school is like we don't want no smoke yeah we don't want no smoke we don't want no smoke well, i mean wherever you are you come in but as you know, and as they all say, you have to dress a certain type of way. I, I you know, I, I'm pretty sure the, you know, the girl is not dressing like, like her. You know, thank God, and, you know, it, nobody's just, just in general, nobody's dressing appropriately. You just come to a, a working place to learn and stuff like that, and you should just have like more, even if it doesn't even have to have to be. A school, you know, code of ethics and how you dress and stuff like that. It's just more or less your morals and, you know, how you present yourself. You know, like, save that for the bar, save that for the club or something like that. Trying to attract whatever you're looking for, but don't bring it to, to a place where people want to learn. It's ridiculous. Why? She, I think it violates the dress code completely, right. and it's completely inappropriate. The thing is, in the dress code for HDSB, like it says you need to wear opaque clothing there are pictures even of the teacher where you can completely see her nipples even the color of like you can see the color you can see the shape it's ridiculous and it's very distracting for students it's not like a good thing for like I, 13 year old 14 year old kids to look at and stuff like i think teachers should 
have to wear a business casual outfit, um, be presentable and professional in the workplace. Like, and you also have to feel for the parents because you're actually sending your child to that environment. Now, I, <laughs> if, if I ever sent my kid to a class knowing that someone, I would feel really uncomfortable. I, I, I would really feel uncomfortable for my child to be in that type of environment because it's like, you know, you have this person that's like, that's too sexy in class. A teacher that's too sexy in class. Come on now. We, uh, you, you, like, it seems to me that based on the post, that person is teaching like carpentry, architectural work. I mean, the carpentry, woodwork, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm teaching, I'm trying, I'm sending that kid specifically for that subject. Not sexy woodwork, sexy, you know, architects, sexy carpentry. Uh, like, I, no. Uh, that's not I'm not spending my money for my child to learn that so it's I can feel for the parents they're upset they're very frustrated but with the school doing that and it can cause you know credibility concerns of the the school and just what it represent you know you know I, and the thing is the kids just want to burst out and laugh because they know what's going on everybody know what's going on man if it was shoot you didn't want to have my class in there man they would just went just like demolish her i would i would like to see the, be, the before and after photos man because like like homie you got you got your stuff all showing man and then you know you have to really think about it. why do you why did you went with that size why why like that's seriously over the top the, i'm pretty sure it hurts your back because i know a lot of um ladies in my personal life that had to go down size because like you know they might have a you know they had they had a big size so they had you know it hurt their back so they had to cut down on size which is understandable. So, like, I'm like, why do you want to put yourself in that situation? I don't get it. But let me know what you guys think. Did you like the video? If you did, like, share, subscribe. Hit that comments. Post some jokes. Let's all have a good laugh today. And always remember, keep hustling, making that money. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.